Hey guys, today we're talking about fifth metatarsal fractures. Hey guys, it's me, Dr. Noreen, your resident clinical specialist, and welcome back to my channel. Okay guys, so today we're talking about fifth metatarsal fractures, and it might sound like it's a pretty simple topic, but it's actually pretty complex. And in order to address fifth metatarsal fractures, we first have to start off with our anatomy. We have five metatarsal bones in our feet. There's one, two, three, four, five metatarsals. We're gonna talk about the fifth one today. So let's talk about this bone in particular. You have the head of the fifth metatarsal. You have the metaphysis of the fifth metatarsal, which is where a lot of growth occurs. You have your diaphysis which is the main portion of the long bone. You then have your metaphysis again, another place where growth occurs. And then you have your fifth metatarsal tuberosity, where your peroneal brevis tendon and your plantar fascia insert. Now you guys, when talking about a fifth metatarsal fracture, the location and rotation of fracture matter. Now, if you have a fracture at the head or the shaft of your fifth metatarsal, treatment will depend on how far these pieces have been dislocated or rotated. And if the fracture hasn't shifted too much, it can be treated conservatively with a cam boot or a cast. Now, another thing we take into consideration when looking at metatarsal fractures is you have this parabola and it's basically kind of shaped like an arch. This parabola where your heads meet your toes it needs to be in this kind of u shape for you to walk properly now if you fracture your fifth metatarsal or any metatarsal and it throws off this parabola then you will likely need surgical intervention to fix it to replace that parabola now you guys there's a whole other beast with fifth metatarsal fractures called a jones fracture the jones fractures happens right in this area where the metaphysis and diaphysis meet this is a particularly important type of fracture because of the poor blood supply in this area. And fractures in this area are more likely to lead to non-unions. I do have a video about non-unions if you want to check that out, but basically a non-union is when two pieces of bone are trying to heal together and are unable to do so. Now, because of that, your surgeon may be more likely to treat this type of fracture surgically depending on the patient's lifestyle and medical history. Okay, you guys, so that was like a super quick summary of fifth metatarsal fractures. If you guys have any questions or concerns or comments about fifth metatarsal fractures, leave them in the comment section down below. If there's something in particular you want me to talk about with fifth metatarsal fractures, again, leave them in the comment section down below. And you guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to stretch and subscribe, like this video, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!